In this video, we're going to run through Bike Index's new law enforcement bike impounding feature. There are a couple of ways you can impound bikes on Bike Index. You can import lists of bikes into your Bike Index account by clicking Bulk Imports. Then, click New Import. This page tells you everything you need to know about importing impounded bikes from a file. Most importantly, you'll have to import a CSV file, not an Excel file or other kind of spreadsheet. Also, your headers must match the ones we have listed, or else your columns will not import. Our required columns are in manufacturer, model, color, serial, and impounded at, which is the column header for impound time. You'll also see a note on date and time format. The import will not work if the date is not in this format. If you want to add time of impounding, you can also add that. The required format is described here. There are a few other fields you can add as well. Click on this link to see all of the options. Some of this information might not apply to your bike list, so don't worry about filling out all of the fields. We also have the option to list impound location, which can be important for people who will be submitting claims for these bikes. Note that each part of the location will need to be in a separate column. You can also add photos of bikes to an import if they weren't sent over directly from your property room. Photos can be tricky and we'll go over it soon. If your property room did not send you photos and you want to take photos and link them to bikes manually, you need to make sure you are adding the proper links or else the photos will not show up. Now we'll walk through a formatting, the formatting of a sample spreadsheet. Here's a spreadsheet that includes the most important pieces of information you'll want to add to bike index for your impounded bikes. The impounded ID can match whatever your property room normally uses for this or for tag numbers. You can also include an impounded description if there is more information about the impound that you want to include. This can be anything from location of the impound to typical procedure details that are important for the specific bike. And you'll want to include address. We just have the city here instead of the multiple columns. You'll also want to include an email address. Since you don't know who these bikes belong to, you won't add the owner email. We recommend you put your property room email or whichever email is doing the import. Now let's go over photos. If your property room didn't send over photos with the bike info, you can add photos. You can use an image hosting site such as ImageBB or something like Dropbox. We'll walk you through using Dropbox here. Each site is a little bit different. You'll have to import all of your bike photos into Dropbox and make sure that link sharing is turned on for the photos so that people can actually see them once they are linked to a bike on Bike Index. Copy the photos shareable link and paste it into a new tab in your browser. Do this for all of the photos you want to include in your import into separate tabs. Next, you'll have to log out of Dropbox, but don't close those photo tabs. You need to generate a link for the image that is publicly available. When you're logged into Dropbox, you can only generate links that are visible to you. When you log out, you'll be acting as a public user and will be able to collect the right links for uploading photos. Click back to your photos and then right click on the image and click copy image address. Paste this link onto your spreadsheet. Do this for each of your photos. Now, you are ready to import your CSV file into Bike Index. First, make sure to save your file in the CSV format. Then, go back to your Bulk Imports page and click New Import. Select your file, and then click Upload and Begin Import. There you go. Your impounded bikes have been listed on Bike Index. Click a bike to see what it looks like. The bike will say impounded and will include the information you imported with the bike. You'll see that the bike is not linked to anyone on Bike Index, and when you scroll down, you'll also see a map of the bike's impounded location. You can go back to your law enforcement account to see a full list of your impounded bikes. One important thing to note is that you cannot have duplicated impounded IDs. Duplicated impounded IDs 
will then take tag numbers. You can set tag numbers in your settings. Manage your impound settings by, click by clicking Manage Impounding. If your impounded bikes do not already have ID numbers, you can batch ID bikes in your import by listing a starting tag number here. All bikes will then get a sequential number for your record keeping. One of the biggest tools for getting a bike back to its owner is to enable your publicly visible impound page. Click the box at the top of the settings page. This creates a public list of all the bikes you have impounded. If bike owners are missing their bike, they can search this page and see if you have a bike that matches theirs. When someone clicks on one of these bikes, the serial number will be hidden, as this is an important piece of information you'll want the owner to provide in order to prove ownership. Bike owners can submit claims to you if they see an impounded bike listing that matches their bike. There are two ways for them to do this. One is to search for their bike on Bike Index. On this search, their own stolen bike listing appears, but they also see your impound record for a bike that matches their description. If they click on the impounded record, they can open a claim. They first have to have the matching bike registered on Bike Index. They click on the bike that they have registered that matches the impound record and then click Open Claim, which brings them to a page where they can add more information, including a message and images of sales receipts or themselves with the matching bike. They can also go through this process by clicking the matching bike directly from your public impounded bikes page. When someone submits a claim to you, you will receive an email letting you know. You can see submitted claims from your Bike Index account. You can contact the bike owner through their bike page or directly through the claim. Click the bike to send a message through the bike page. They will receive your message at the email address they used to submit the claim. You can let them know what additional information they need to bring in in order to verify ownership. You can approve or deny claims that you receive through Bike Index. All you have to do is click on the claim number, then review the information they've submitted and respond. You can approve or deny. You can customize the text that sends with an approval or denial of a claim. Just click Custom Emails on the left-hand side of your admin panel. You'll see a couple of options. Click the Claim Approved or Denied button to edit the default emails that you send out when approving or denying a claim. Edit the text as you'd like. This is what will go out to the owner when you hit Approve or Deny from the Claims page. You can also add specific text relevant to their own bike from the Claims page. When you approve the claim, the bike owner who submitted the claim will receive a message letting them know to come in and pick up the bike. You can remove the bike from your list of impounded bikes. You can either delete the bike if they already have a bike index listing, or if you return the bike to them without submitting a claim through bike index, you can transfer the impound record to the owner as their own new bike index registration. You can include further details about the impound record here too. And that's it. Getting bikes back to their owners using Bike Index's impounding features for law enforcement is an easy way to get bikes out of your impound lot and keep people riding.